It's constantly flooding your timeline. Young, successful entrepreneurs making thousands of dollars a day from anywhere in the world. And a secret to a lot of their success is dropshipping. Well, you see this day and age with the access and rise of the internet, it's never been easier to make a lot of money online, be your own boss, achieve financial freedom, and work from anywhere in the world. I saw this opportunity and it's exactly what I did while I was still working my nine to five. So it's extremely achievable to do if you only have a couple hours a day to spend on it. But if you're clicking on this video, you're probably like, what is dropshipping? How does it work? Basically what dropshipping is, is a logistics model. It's a way of fulfilling orders to a customer. But the overarching business model is typically where you'd find a product online, build a Shopify store around that product, find a supplier for that product, put up some advertisements, and when someone goes onto your website and makes a purchase, your supplier will fulfill that order directly to the customer so you don't have to warehouse any inventory at all. All you have to focus on is advertising the backend stuff on Shopify and making sure that you still have a consistent profit margin. Like I was saying before, this method method has personally allowed me to quit my nine to five job, work for myself and be a seven figure online entrepreneur. That probably sounds like every other person you see online right now, but that's the reality of it. But of course there's a catch. Succeeding in drop shipping, especially for beginners or for those having no results, depends on two things. Following proven strategies that actually work, like the same ones that I'm personally using in students like these. And the second thing is dedication and consistency. I was probably in the exact same spot as you right now, hating that corporate lifestyle and wanting to work for myself. The only difference between me and you right now is that I actually took the time and dedicated myself to learn as much as possible about e-commerce. I'm going to cover the exact steps of how to start dropshipping in 2024 right now so that it's the easiest for you and you actually understand what you're getting yourself into and what steps you actually need to take. All right, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Step one is finding that product. You can't create a website, you can't create advertisements without finding this product that you want to sell. Now, don't make the mistake and think you can just sell anything online. You need to find find a product that has an audience that will actually purchase from you. And there's a lot of ways to convince them to do so, but the very first step is picking the niche that you want to sell in. A niche is just a category. It could be golf, it could be beauty. It doesn't really matter. It's just a category of products. Now, what I recommend doing is picking a niche that you're interested in, or at least that you know a lot about or someone close to you knows about. So for example, if you love golf, you play all the time, it's a great niche for you to go into because you know what products you would buy, you know competitor brands because you probably purchased from them, and you know exactly what good advertisements look like in that niche. All right, so now you've picked a niche, but how are we gonna find this product? How are we gonna do some product research? And just a preface, anything that I talk about in this video or mention, I'll have a link down below in the description so you can check it out. So my favorite product research method and platform is Manea. I've been working with Manea for a very long time. I used Manea before I even became a partner with them. It's just a great way to find products. Their slogan is find winning products in three clicks. And that's just the reality of it. So they've got great features like top 10 winning products of the day by platform. So if you're like, hey, I'm really good at making TikToks. I want to start selling products on TikTok. You can click on TikTok here and scroll through all of these different products like this one right here. All you have to do is click on it. If you want to get some more information, we'll scroll down to see more on the right side. Now you can actually download their assets so you can download the videos that they're running, which I don't fully recommend, but use them for inspiration. It'll give you their ad copy, how many views it has, how many likes it has, the exact link to their store. So you can click on it and use this for inspiration to see how they're selling this product, what marketing angles they're using. It really is a powerful tool. It'll show you the engagement over time of the specific advertisement, and it will even search for suppliers on AliExpress for you at the top right here. Or if you don't have any idea what product you want to sell, but you just want to search within a specific niche, you can search for whatever niche that you want, put in golf training, and here are all the golf training tools that they're pulling from the internet, whether it's Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. It doesn't really matter. They've got it all consolidated here where you can find these products and see which ones are actually taking off. Or if you don't really care, you can just click on winning products. They have a bunch of different queries at the top here that are automatically kind of adjusted for you. So the winning products query is actually a mix between proven products and also ones that have potential and they're growing right now and they're not super saturated. So the name of the game for finding products is really just kind of browsing on softwares like this until you find one that you think is cool, you could advertise well. Now, my number one recommendation for qualifying winning products is not just sales. It's how many marketing angles that you can actually come up with this product. Marketing angles are a big key to success in finding winning products because it gives you the ability to test a product multiple different ways, targeting multiple different demographics and use cases of that product. And of course, the more chances that you 
have to test products in unique ways, the higher chance of success. If you don't know what a marketing angle is, the best way to describe it is a beauty refrigerator. I always use this example. So the refrigerators that you store your skincare in that they sell at like Urban Outfitters and whatnot, it's quite literally a refrigerator, but the marketing angle is that you store your skincare in there. So they took a product that you would deem saturated, oh, it's just a mini fridge, but they added a specific angle and use case for this product. That's a great example of a marketing angle. Now, another great place to look for winning products is AutoDS. They've recently added the marketplace feature where they've got the similar winning product research tools on their platform as well. They also have a lot of in-house suppliers for these products, which I'll come back to later, but a lot of them you can get fast shipping times like two business days. Now, once you've figured out what product that you wanna test and potentially sell, the next step that you need to do is build out your Shopify store. And building a website on Shopify doesn't require a bunch of custom coding anymore at all. It's really kind of just plug and play. Shopify is definitely my preferred method when I'm building all my stores. I've actually never used another platform. And typically the cost for the Shopify plan is $29 a month. But being their partner, I've got a discount code for you guys. So it's only a dollar a month for the first three months. So instead of spending over $100 on Shopify, it's only three bucks. So let's move on, but remember to take advantage of that code. Now I'm not going to go into a full Shopify website build because I've got plenty of those tutorials on my channel, but it's fairly easy to do. You really just put in all of your information and you pretty much build out your page however you want it based on the theme editor. It's very, very easy to do. And you can also have custom themes built onto your website as well. Some themes that I recommend plugging into Shopify would be solo drop, the streamline theme. And if you don't want to pay for a theme, they have a bunch of great free ones that you can really customize as needed. Now, since I'm not going into detail of step-by-step -step on how to open up that store and build it, since I already covered that all over my channel. One thing that I do want to mention is that you want to build your website to look like it is built in 2024 and not in 2016. We don't want janky looking websites. They look like they were put together in Microsoft Word and they're just really ugly. It's going to hurt your conversion rate. You want your landing page of your website to act like the salesman of your store. And what would a good salesman do? They would put a ton of time and effort into perfecting it to make it optimized as possible. Now here's a really good example of a great looking website. This is ritual.com. What's cool about this website is it's got a clean minimalistic layout they've got some moving features here this pill jumping up and down is really awesome they've got some custom made content here which a lot of the times i recommend not just taking pictures from aliexpress or on the internet if you can put together some skills on canva or photoshop to make your photo images look like this it's way way better it makes you look a lot more branded now i'm not going to cover everything that's cool about this website like this pull down feature here but just know this is a great example of a website moving into 2024 where website quality really matters and of course after this video if you want to start building your store make sure to refer to one of my full length guides on that all right step three we found the product we built our shopify store now we need to find a reliable supplier. And communication with your supplier is key. If your supplier is not responding to you or their shipping times are taking too long, you're gonna have trouble at the end, which is your customer. It may seem hard enough to already start making a bunch of sales online, but if your product comes in months later or broken, you're gonna get a bunch of headaches from your customer, like return requests, disputes, and you don't want that to happen. So you have to avoid this by having a reliable supplier. Now there are a bunch of different ways and options out there to find a reliable supplier. A lot of people bag on AliExpress, but I found my personal agent Agent on there and I've been using him since 2019. The reason that I still use him to this day is because he's reliable. He gets extremely fast shipping times, even from China where he gets four to seven days to the US. So the moral of the story is if you're looking for a supplier on AliExpress, they are out there, but it's kind of like finding a diamond in the rough. There's a lot of bad ones. There are other options like AutoDS that I mentioned earlier that have pre-built in suppliers into their platform. If they have the product ready for you to ship out on AutoDS, I would really recommend it because they get great shipping times, a really good customer service, Service, making the whole process a lot easier. And of course, there are other third party alternatives like Zendrop, CJ Dropshipping, USA Drop. They can all be good at times, but I really recommend finding someone that you can personally talk to, or you can guarantee that the shipping times are good and there's some customer service channel that you can reach out to. Now, of course, this video is an overview video of the steps that you're going to expect to take when starting off your business. And I have way more full detailed guides on every step that I mentioned here on my channel. So check those out after. All right, so step four is now advertising the product. We've got the product we want to advertise. We've got the website built and we've got the supplier locked down. Now we need to actually get people to come onto our website and purchase from us. My preferred method of advertising personally is still meta ads. So Facebook and Instagram, I think that they have the best data, no matter what anyone says about TikTok. They've just been in the game for so long. Their conversion rates are better on average. I really just think you get more of your bang for your buck. However, it is worth mentioning that Facebook ads or Instagram ads are actually paid traffic, unless you're doing Instagram reels where you can get some organic traffic flowing through. So 
if you want to do the paid traffic route where you're going to get instant data and feedback and hopefully people are purchasing on your website or at least you're getting indications of what you need to fix you're going to want to set aside a budget to actually run advertisements now if you want to test out a product a healthy test and advertisement amount that you should spend on this product is three to five times your average order value so if you're selling your product for fifty dollars you want to spend anywhere from 150 to 250 dollars advertising that product that i would deem as a fair test and you would get enough data back to actually make educated decisions moving forward with your advertisements. As a quick example, if you advertise something for 250 bucks and let's say you got three sales, so you made $150 in revenue and you spent $250 in ads. You now have the data to see you know, which ad performed the best. Was it this specific marketing angle? Why didn't more people check out? It's obvious that people are interested in the product, but is the price too high? Is your offer not good enough? Where are people actually dropping off on your website? From there, you can make an educated decision and say, okay, well, a lot of people dropped off at shipping because I had shipping set at $9.99. All right, so now let's isolate that variable and try it with free shipping see if your conversion rate goes up. Advertising and running the store really all together is just like a huge puzzle that you're trying to massage all these pieces until they perfectly fit. That's where the big dedication of time and trial and error really comes in is when you're frustrated because you only got three sales from this advertisement and you didn't quite fully make your money back. So now you have to figure out the puzzle of where people are dropping off and what's actually gonna make your conversion rate higher and turn your store profitable. But that's really the fun part of building the store and progressing is just putting all these puzzle pieces together and seeing what works out until your store is finally profitable. Now in terms of what kind of content to actually post, the biggest thing they need to focus on is being native to the platform. So if you're running TikTok ads, you want your TikTok ads to look like natural TikToks. You don't want them to look weird to the platform and it looks like you're just trying to advertise and you don't know how to do it. Same with Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, all of them. And you can run either video ads or image ads, depends on the platform. Image ads are a lot cheaper to run on Facebook and Instagram than video ads are. So it's kind of an untapped area. I really like to run a lot of image ads. It's a really good idea to start off with image ads if your product makes sense to use image ads. And then test those marketing angles on those image ads and whichever performed the best, turn those ones into videos. And there probably seems like a lot of creativity that you have to build around your Shopify store with product descriptions, your content for your advertisements, your brand name, all that stuff. What I really recommend using is Dropbot AI. It'll just take all of that heavy lifting off for you. And all you have to do is plug in your product name here and then any additional information. So for the example here, we're doing a jade roller and it's reduced redness and skin irritation so that your skin can glow. And let's say you need some brand names, maybe a brand voice, maybe some marketing angles to test. Just select whatever you need, hit generate. And then on the right side, you'll see all of these e-com optimized outputs. Take this for inspiration. You can copy and paste it one for one. It just makes the whole process a lot easier, especially if you're not super, super creative. And of course, if you want to try it, there'll be a link down below in the description. Now we've talked a little bit about paid advertising, but you can also run organic traffic for free. All organic traffic is, is just posting content on TikTok and Instagram reels to get as much engagement as possible. Try to get the videos to go viral, have call to actions, telling people where to shop for this product, have a link in the description or on your TikTok shop. And then they'll essentially click on it if they like the product and that traffic is going to your store where they hopefully will purchase. Now, organic traffic is completely free. The only thing they have to really spend is your time. You have to be very consistent in posting organic content. You should be posting on TikTok three times a day, Instagram Reels one to three times a day, and just remain consistent until you get some viral videos. It's also a great way to test out marketing angles for free without going directly into paid traffic because you can post as much as you want on TikTok and Instagram Reels, testing a bunch of different marketing angles and videos and seeing what hooks work and what don't. And then whatever works the best and say you got a viral video and that was a great hook and a really engaging video, you can just download that video and move it on to paid traffic so you don't have to test all that. You know this video is actually doing really, really well. People are engaging with it. I think organic traffic is a great way to start drop shipping, especially for being budget friendly, as well as teaching you how to create content that's engaging and people are interacting with. It's a really good skill to learn. All right, now that we've got our advertisements done, we need to move on to step five, which is fulfillment. So so of course, when people go onto your website and they place an order, you gotta ship out that order. And you're probably wondering how to do it. It really depends on where your supplier is located or what website they're on. But this is where I'm tying back into AutoDS and my number one recommendation for fulfillment. With AutoDS, all you have to do is add your products in here, do single product, type in the URL. It can come from AliExpress, Home Depot, Sam's Club. They have a bunch of different areas that you can actually drop ship from. So you plug in your product from where the supplier is. Let's say it came from AliExpress. You just paste the link right here. All you have to do is go down to your orders. And if it's synced onto your store, it'll actually show you all the orders that came in for the day. And from here, you go down to the product section, ones that are on your store. You would just map this directly to that AliExpress supplier or wherever you found the supplier from. So an easy way to do this and upload your product directly on AutoDS is just click on add products, single product, copy and paste 
paste the URL from AliExpress and it'll upload onto your store where you can edit it and it'll already be mapped to that exact supplier. But one of the best features of AutoDS in the flagship and it saves you so much time once you have orders coming in is the automatic order fulfillment. So once you have some sales and some orders come into this order section here, what you can do is actually go down to settings and put on automations. What you can actually do is go down to your settings section and click on buyer accounts. Then you'll click add an account and you can choose where your supplier is from. Say it's AliExpress, you connect to AliExpress. Then you go over to your payment methods, you put in your credit card and then click on the settings. And you can say how many orders that you wanna actually fulfill a day. So if you say, I wanna max out 25 orders fulfilled a day because my credit card limit or something like that, AutoDS will automatically fulfill and pay for all those orders the very next day. So you don't have to manually do it. It'll actually just cover all that for you and it'll add the tracking back into your Shopify store, which then gets sent over to your customer so you don't have to worry about any fulfillment at all. That just makes it so much easier and saves a lot of time if you're really starting to scale up your store. Because surprisingly, there's a lot of other things to work on in your dropshipping business. You don't even wanna to have to worry about fulfillment the next day, spending 30 minutes to an hour fulfilling orders. Just have it automatically done for you and you're good to go. The next step after fulfillment, and yes, there is another step after you've already shipped out the order. It's step six, which is continuously testing. So just because one product is doing well, you're making money off of it, it doesn't mean you should stop there and just go take a vacation. There's always new products that you can test. There's different marketing angles. Can you improve that average advertisement that you created. Every puzzle piece that you just put together can always be improved. Your website could be improved. Your advertisements can be improved. You can get cost downs from your supplier because now you're shipping out more products. So you have higher volume. The name of the game is really just trial and error and continuing to test. Or don't even stop at just one store that's doing well. You can take all the skills you just learned that whole process and just build a second store on top of that. You never want to remain complacent on where you are in e-com because it's always changing and it's always updating. You really should keep up to date with the latest strategies, the new stuff that's coming out with TikTok shop. There's always more ways that you can improve and make more money. All right, that is the last step. I hope that this was a good overview of what you can expect if you start a Shopify dropshipping store. It might sound like a lot, but it's definitely worth it. It changed my life. And I'm really happy that I dedicated the time and learned it back in 2018. And of course, if you want to step over all of these headaches and hurdles and learn with me and my team personally at Ecom Remastered, where we can build custom websites for you, custom UGC content, host two to four live coaching calls a week. And the best offer is that we work with you until you hit your goal. It's lifetime access. So you don't have to worry about 90 day coaching or anything like that. Me and my coaches are involved with Ecom for life. So we are happy to help until you hit your goals. Hope you guys like this one. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below on what video you want to see next. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.